Hi, this is Jonathan from Action Pack. Today we're going to be videotaping the uh, Mini 109. This Mini 109 is designed for customer uh, fruit and vegetable hybrid seeds. And as you can see, it's a single lane unit, uh, single foot pedal, speeds of about 8 to 12 cycles a minute, depending on the, uh, on the requirements and the accuracy required. A few mods that we've done here is, uh, you will see, is we have the, the bulk and the dribble lane gate. The lane gate opens in the bulk mode to get the majority of the weight out. Then you have the fine tune dribble there that gets the, uh, the high accuracy. A other few mods that we've done here is we've also lowered the hopper gate. The hopper gate uh, will ensure a smaller flow in the feeder pan, lower level in the pan, get you a little bit better accuracy that way as well. Uh, conical weigh bucket, round, no corners, no product to stick in any of the uh, any of the corners. And here we have our conical round uh, pouch funnel, one of two. They also customer also ordered a second one there, 25 and 45 millimeters. And um, all right, pretty standard unit. Otherwise, um, it's a tenth of a gram standard is what we're running on this weigh bucket. Uh, just to show you a little bit of, about that um, displayed resolution, I got my test weight here. So what we're going to do is a uh, customer would just recall a program. And this uh, scale's been set up for 0 0.2, which is 2 grams, and 0 0.5, which is uh, 5 grams for now. So we'll start with the 0 0.5. 0 .5. All right. And just to double check calibration so you can see what we're dealing with here. Zero to scale. Shows you all zeros. Take our 50 gram calibration test weight here, put that on the bucket, and as you can see, it's 50 grams by a tenth. Just a little bit of flash in there from the wind. All right, so what we'll go ahead and do is uh, it's already been set up, calibrated, uh, tuned for the speed and accuracy that the customer wants. All the uh, you would do is press five, open up the bucket manually, and then now we would go ahead and press run. What you'll see there, the bulk, dribble, and then you have the perfect accuracy there of the small, of the dribble side. And we're running uh, five grams here, as you can see, uh, five grams exactly. So the customer would take their bag, slide the bag on the funnel, and also there's the foot pedal, step on the pedal, and the cycle is going to start all over. Bulk and dribble again. Very easy to change over from different products, different weight sizes. Like I mentioned, it's designed to run about 10 to 12 cycles a minute. Right now we might be running a little slower due to the, the fact that uh, we're uh, trying to get such small weights here. Uh, usually the, the minimum that the Mini would run is, you know, about 5 grams. We were able to actually get it to run the 2 grams, and I'll show you that right now. Um, but also, uh, and then the max is generally about 250 grams or so. All right, so all you have to do to change your, uh, change your weight here is uh, stop it so you're not in the run mode, and then recall a different program. I've set up 0, 02, so you recall program, 0, 02. And then you would place your bag under the, uh, the funnel and then dump it. Okay, and then now what you would do is, is start. Now you'll see this, this way is a little slower here. And you'll see on the screen exactly two grams. So you place your bag up under the funnel, step on the pedal. I have this cycle also re-zeroing every time just to ensure perfect accuracy. Also to help with the, the, the uh, weights, the stabilization, uh, it's important that you don't have any kind of wind or any kind of fans or any open doors when you're operating this. It's sort of like a lab balance. There you can see the weight. Bulk and then the dribble, and exactly two grams. When you're operating these scales, you also want to uh, be as gentle as possible on the uh, putting the bag on and off the um, the funnel. 
So the Mini is also designed to run uh, a number of different products depending on whatever the application is. Uh, so um, that concludes our demo for today.